or the next Hasan Sani. You know, and and we're gonna show you. You know, uh, that's that's us taking a picture of Hasan Sani. So uh, shout out to you and uh, Dapur Hasan, because John <laughs> enjoys the Mirubus a lot. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I love that Mirubus. <laughs> it's in Tampines, but it's just near, yeah. it's just near where we are. So yeah, we yeah. really enjoy it. But yeah. but that being said, the reason why we want to bring up Hassan is because I think over the course of the two games against South yeah. Korea and yeah. Thailand, he was a star. Four, four, two, dudes. Welcome back to another episode of Four, Four, Two, Dudes. Sawadika. I think it's Kap lah. But in any case, this is another episode and we'll see you next for our next segment that we call 90 Minutes of Now I crave for Thai omelette rice. So we'll see you. <laughs> Welcome to 90 Minutes Off and this is where we'll be sharing what kind of matches have been happening and I think this one is going to be very uh, close to us, John, because we were there live. We were there live watching the game and that was, well, it kind of felt like the other way around, but it was <laughs> Singapore versus Thailand. Yes. I mean, what, what did you feel about that? I thought the atmosphere was not too bad. Yeah. Uh, my, my only disappointment was the before the game happened, the, the there wasn't any booths that were set up, you know, to to rouse the crowd, oh. to make it more exciting. Yeah, I felt it too, huh? So I mean, you know, I, I was yeah, yeah, to you yeah. right. There was yeah, only yeah. one miserable booth where, but I think you, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I uh, really some name, some there a, brand. There was a sports booth there. Yeah, uh, trying to showcase their their sporting attire yeah. and their their shoes and yeah. nothing else. Yeah, there's nothing about the the national team. Yeah, there's nothing about the the merchandise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. That was my. The ne- only negative thing, yeah. but the the positive the positive thing about this whole match was okay. that I think the national team is finally getting some support. Uh, you, you know, I have to agree it, with you. It was you a weekday. I mean. yes. The match took place on a weekday, and it kind of got sold out in, in a way, lah. Correct. I, in a way, I'll put it. You know, with twenty thousand tickets gone uh, on a weekday, on yeah, a yeah. weird weekday as well, Tuesday, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, you, you thought okay, lah, may 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 not happen, but it did. So I do agree with you that there is some support for that. But you know, we, we yeah. So, so in pre-game, I thought not too bad, not too bad. Yeah. I mean, for for a Singapore national team game, mm-hmm. I thought it was one of the. Finally, we felt something like yeah. At least like you know, what and I mean? we're At coming least. together. We're yes, coming together. coming together. There were many many people wearing a national jersey. Oh yeah. Obviously, there are a lot of people. I mean, because of the 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 color the of the club that they support. Right. But it's it's nice to see everybody coming together, it was, and supporting it was. the national team. It was so so, and then once we went into the ground, wow. Yeah, I mean. It, it, it was it was very lively, very lively uh, but I we agree. but we got to give credit because we were saying it when we were sitting down we got to give credit to the Thai fans as well oh my I goodness. think given the, the the I wouldn't say small quantity but given the the sizing of the seats that they were given I, I think the number were of seats they were given 2000 yeah. probably probably a maximum of 2, they were very loud and all. very and very loud, loud not just loud they were cheering yeah. And coming Throughout. in with all the the uh, ethnic costumes, you know, oh yes, and and uh, coming in with, with with big banners, coming in with flags, just singing their hearts out, dancing their hearts out, cheering their hearts out. I mean, you you got to give it to them, definitely. And it's throughout the match. It wasn't just like oh maybe the first, you know, obviously Thailand scored yeah. much, very early in the game, but throughout the whole game they were very very loud to the point where. You know, you know, at, at every stadium, right? Right. There will always be a, like a, like a ringleader, you know, mm-hmm. galvanizing the crowd, wanting yeah. to sing yeah. along the songs, you know, like the conductor of sorts. Yeah. To the point where he had to come and say, "Come on, guys, we need to be louder than them." Mm-hmm. I um, mean, they are two thousand strong, I guess. Yeah. We are more than twenty thousand strong. Yeah, about there. But I think we kind of lost to them. Yeah, yeah. In terms of the cheering and support, so. I might. We, we got to give it to the. We got to give it to them. You know, yeah, they yeah. they're in foreign land and and they did it. They did yeah. it loud. So that was the the, yeah. the the atmosphere that we're talking about. So now let's come into let's 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 focus on the game now. Okay. So what are your thoughts about the game? I think the thought my thoughts about the game is uh, plain and simple. As I've said earlier, the very start of this uh, ninety minutes, it, it really felt like as if Thailand was more at home compared to Singapore. <laughs> uh, we were just being bombarded with attacks from the flanks, <sighs> left, right, center, whatsoever. You know, Thailand was was dominating for at least the first 10 minutes and, you know, that led to a goal for them. Uh, and, and it just wasn't what we thought it would be because I remember I was telling you as well, you know, um, halfway through the game, back then it, when Singapore went up 
against the likes of Indonesia, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, like that one, we would we would think we would come up on top somehow, or at least there would be some glimmer of hope. But in this case, it it it, it from the get go, you know, it just didn't felt that way. It again felt like ah, huh? we we are away, huh? You know, we're not home, huh? So, I think you're absolutely right in this. No way. We saw the starting lineup. We saw the formation. Yeah. Five, four, one. Yeah. Why would you be starting with your five at the back yeah. at your home ground yeah. in the only game in your group match that you have the highest chance of winning? Mm-mm. Why would you want to do that? Mm-mm. I really don't understand. I think at that point of time, the moment the team sheets came out, I think the players and the fans knew that we lost the game. Well, I think the fans, most of them, especially, you know, the fans just went, huh, this is the kind of lineup. Exactly. I mean, what are we going for? Exactly. I was like, oh my goodness. And the fact that when Thailand scored the goal, I, I don't remember which minute they scored. Very early. I think I was still trying to settle down. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Because I was busy, you know, I was busy to do the Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was yeah. Just, I was, because the reception, the, the, the internet connection wasn't very good there. Right. So I was just waiting. I was just trying to post an Insta story and stuff. Oh, like, here we go and stuff. I was still trying to- Yeah, to, you were, you were. I was still editing my post yeah. when they scored. And, you know, all of a sudden, we just- I, I, And I didn't even see the goal. Yep. I'm like, shit, what? Just, just that? like that. Oh my goodness. Yep. No, but oh, wow, seriously, why? And throughout the game, didn't things didn't really change much. They were very, very much defensive almost throughout the game. Yeah. Even when, when Shawal Anwar came on. There was just a glimmer, glimmer of, of uh, attacking sense. Just a glimmer. Not so much. Yeah, just was, a glimmer. It was la. very, glimmer. very disappointing. Yeah. And I, there's one thing I think I mentioned to you during the game itself also that, you know, Singapore, we have this tendency to copy others. Yeah. Right. In, in, in not just football, but yeah. the game shows and whatnot. We have this tendency to, oh, because these people are doing well, let's copy them. Mm-hmm. You know, let's follow what they do. Mm-hmm. But we also have to be realistic. You know, we can't always copy every single thing. We need our own Singaporean identity. We need to have our identity. And this thing I'm talking about is, in terms of footballing, in the footballing terms, is playing out from the back. We don't have the technical skills. We don't have the composure right. to play this way. Why would you want to play out out of the back from the defense, playing passing and all, when you can't even hold the ball? And because of that, you actually allow and you're basically inviting the ties to come and press you all the way from the front. And when that took place, and it happened so many times, and yet the coach didn't change the tactic at all. Yeah. Which is something I don't understand. I I think, you know, a lot of fans share the same sentiments as you. Uh, And, and, you know, it, it just shows. At the end of the day, the results show that. Uh, I mean, what are we doing? I mean, what are we uh, telling the players? I mean, not we, but what is the coach telling the players? What are the players being told to do? Uh, I mean, I got to give credit after we went down by one goal. We kind of got back into the game. You know, the crowd was also into it. Uh, we, we we did capture that moment as well. You know, the crowd just coming. Uh, so, so I think that was quite fun, you know, to be able to celebrate a goal. I was thinking we could have never celebrated a goal on that day, on that night rather. But thankfully we did. So... I'm quite glad we at least celebrated a goal. Okay, I'm not sure whether v- <laughs> VAR was in place. But oh yeah, I know. You're going to say the offside thing, is it? I think, to me, it was offside. Okay. I don't know. Okay, okay. from where we were seated, we couldn't yeah. really see. Yeah, we couldn't really see. Because the, 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 the goal that Singapore scored in the first half was yeah. the opposite yeah. side from where we were. Yeah. And we were, we were sitting behind the goal. Yeah. So, uh, I, I couldn't really see. Maybe we couldn't really see the goal, but yeah. based on the replays, it looked as it if looked- he was offside. Yeah. Uh, so well anyway it was given so it was given luckily and we got to given. celebrate so oh yeah 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 <laughs> uh, I think there's a video to, to show the, the, yeah. the, the but, celebration but, but, but still you know we I mean speaking of behind the goal mm. we were behind Hassan Sunny for uh, the first half I just want to say that yeah there's so much action over there we're oh. like <laughs> yeah. I didn't want action to be the other yeah. and they wanted to be the other side that was quite funny because you know we, we didn't want the action to be at, at our end so uh, I mean we, we, we were behind Hassan Sunny <laughs> happy. We're very happy. Uh, just, just look at the video. I, yeah. I saw the boys. That yeah, were the boys were in front of us. Huh? They, they, were, they were happy as well. I mean, <laughs> poof, that's what football is all about. Doesn't doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. You know, it doesn't matter who you are. We you, you just come together to celebrate. And speaking of those boys, I think yeah. it was very nice to see. I think as we were leaving the stadium, I remember yeah. everything, I saw a lot of different school teams. I think very young children. Ah, right. Then they obviously they're representing their schools. Their respective see the, football the clubs. Respective schools school and then clubs, the football all clubs yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. And I thought it was fantastic to see all these young players or these uh, budding, budding yeah. footballers you know, watching the game, supporting our national yeah. team. And they're all so young. They're all in their secondary in the, yeah, secondary about school, school age. Yeah. 
uh, poly and all. Mm, it was, mm. it was, actually, it was a very, very nice set to see. So, for all the negativity that we have, you know, with the FAS and all, I mean, I think we, we have said enough, and the people online have said mm, enough. Mm. But if you were just to focus a little bit on the posit- positive side, I think it's very, very heartening to see that, you know, the younger ones are wanting to support our national team. Yeah, I, I, I think that's good because that's when the support really gets Correct. nurtured, gets cultivated uh, in a very PC way from the grassroots levels. Mm. We're able to see people coming down to support. So yeah. <laughs> like, who knows well, we, well, you know. we might unveil the next Danelle Tan yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Danelle Tan and, and whoever she's the best really there's yeah. nobody else there's yeah. nobody else that's, that's of the similar level to her or the next Hassan Sani you know and, and we're gonna show you you know uh, that's that's us taking a picture of Hassan Sani so uh, shout out to you and uh, Dapur Hassan because John <laughs> enjoys the Mirubus a lot <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I love that Mirubus. <laughs> it's in Tampines, but it was just near, yeah. it's just near where we are. So yeah, we yeah. really enjoy it. But yeah. but that being said, the reason why we want to bring up Hassan is because I think over the course of the two games against South yeah. Korea and yeah. Thailand, he was a star. I think he was the best player. Yeah, he he is. He is definitely the best player in the Singapore. Yeah. And it's unfortunate because he is he's of an age where he's supposed to be retired. Or at least, you know, being able to be with similar veterans. Right, but but Unfortunately, we don't have anybody one, better. Right? And I can see why. Because yeah. he was really good. If it's not because of Hassan, I think we would, the score against Thailand would have been what, at least a good seven or eight goals conceded. I, I actually would think <clears> so too. Right. It was that bad. That mm-hmm. was how bad our passing was. Also, was also, also, speaking of bad, I want to say some good things as well. John was saying how good, by the way, to Hassan, um, if you're watching this, how good your goal distribution is. Yeah? That, that he was seeing it and he kind of liked it. So. It's not goal distribution. I don't know what you call it. Lah. Is this his, his distribution, his passing? Okay, your distribution of the passing, yeah, of the ball. No, I thought it was great. I, yeah, I thought, thought it was great. great. I thought it. it was great. So, but unfortunately, we don't have the players with the technical skills to 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 receive it. To not receive it, not so much the receiving. Because to, some to too short line. To, to capitalize on it. Okay. It's not. It's, it's not just that. It's our first touch. It's our yeah. composure. It's our passing. There's there's really it's almost non-existent. Right. That is the problem. So we got to so, work hard on that. Correct, and it's not just it's not just the Thailand game. I mean, in the South Korea game, you know, we after, saw that too. After the the whole game, I actually I actually you know wrote down a whole list of things that I thought, and I just wanted to to share it actually. So in terms of Korea, I did, I'm not sure whether you watched the game. I did watch did the you highlights. Watch it? You watched the highlights. So what? Uh, highlights. So based on the highlights, what do you think it was? I'm going to tell um, you something. I, I it could be an unpopular uh, opinion, but I think Singapore fed better with the game against South Korea for at least the first twenty minutes compared mm. to Thailand. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I think they fed better against South Korea than I think that's only because yeah. that's only because they were bucking the bus. Yeah. But but at least they bought it. You get what I mean? At least, you know, in the game at home, even if you want to park the bus, you don't seem to be parking the bus properly. I, I'm just going to say it right there. Against South Korea, you could hold them off for at least one. I'm just going to say it right now, right here. We talk about Hassan Sani being very good. The next thing I want to say is we have a... Really, really, security was, was so good, you know. They were just... You know, I just is, thought, is, is that the video that you're just talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. because stadium is packed with people. You got to give credit to them. It's not easy uh, not being able to look behind and you know just focus on your segment of the crowd. So I got to give it to them. Whereas for our players who are defending, we got to do a bit harder than that. So just saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm at a loss of words. Yeah. But, now, gracious. but now, you know what this tells me? Yeah, please. We were so poor, the yeah. game was so bad that yeah. you had to focus on the security no. rather than the game itself. I, ha- well, I wouldn't say it's so bad. I'm just saying that I'm just looking uh. at something else and go, hey, actually they do better. <laughs> so, you know, analogy lah. So I'm using that as a good analogy, which going back to the South Korea game, I just want to say we did really better. Whether or not we were parking the bus, at least we were still doing something, putting in effort. Whereas the game against Thailand, we were at home. We had the home ground advantage. You had at least 20,000 Singaporeans behind you. You had um, everybody trying to root for you. And and and, and even, uh, even, I have to say this to, of course, his name, uh, Nishigaya, whatever his coach name, 
thank you for being able to sing the national anthem. Mm, oh yes, yeah, that's well, correct. That's correct. Credit. I mean, thank we you. We have the giving credit. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got to Japanese, give credit. He actually made a point to yeah. learn our national anthem, even though you were a bit uh, off sync, but you know, not in sync with the thing. But otherwise, I'll give you credit. I, but, I, I count that to lag time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because that, it's a oh, live feed after yeah. all, right? So you know, live feed is really the lag time. You know, there's a slight delay. Uh, but I think that's the only positive thing I need. To, I have to say about the coach uh, for the. The yeah. Nishigaya, whatever his name yeah, is, yeah. because I think it's really time for you to go. You have absolutely no clue. And now I, I want to highlight the, the South Korean game. Okay. I think that the, the Thai game, everybody really mentioned it. Yeah, you know, we, we, are, we are not attacking enough. We yeah. are not even trying to capitalize on anything. We are we're not even capital, capitalizing on our home ground advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, playing so defensive against a Thai team. Where yeah. Honestly, that's realistically the only match that we could have actually won. Mm. Um, but Coming back to the Korean game, you okay. know, you talk about, mentioned about the parking the bus, the first yeah, 20 minutes yeah. were actually decent and all. Yeah. But I think it was only possible because they, they were just focusing, 100% focus on trying to block shots and then after that, they were just going to kick it out as mm -hmm. far as possible. That to me is not football. That to me is just a school mm -hmm. a school, school game. School game. Okay. Where when you get the ball, you first thing you do, you just pump it up. Right. And then you just go back to defense and all. Mm -hmm. That is not football. Mm -hmm. You know, if any team that we see in the Premier League or even yeah. the Championship playing this way, we will criticize the team to the heavens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Praising them. Mm -mm. I mean, criticize, not praising them. Yeah. Criticizing criticize. them because that is not football. Mm -mm. This is a World Cup qualifying game. This is not yeah. a school game. Yeah. So that is one thing I really don't understand what they're doing. Mm -mm. And our best player against Korea was mm -mm. Korean. Yeah. The only player that actually tried to do something, that tried to run at the defense, run mm -mm. at the Koreans, mm -mm. was a Korean. Mm -mm. And unfortunately, he didn't do much mm -mm. because there was no support. Mm -mm. Everybody was just basically sitting back, waiting mm -mm. for him to something, something to happen. Mm -mm. Some magic. And he was the only, and in fact, he was the one that helped us to actually won the free kick for us. Mm -mm. Um, and I don't consider a penalty too, but... I mean, that's beside yeah, the point. Yeah, that's beside the point. The, the, the good thing is he actually got a free kick. He mm. won us a free kick. Yeah. And from the resulting free kick, we actually scored a goal, which was out of nowhere, you know? Yeah. Um, but, but, you know, obviously, the, the Lightsman put his flag up mm -hmm. and based on the replays, you know, we saw, yes, mm -hmm. it was correctly disallowed for offside. So here's my thing, just my take on the Japanese coach of Singapore's okay. national team. Right. As an underdog, mm -mm. the way to basically approach a game, yes, parking the bus is one way, Right, but you need to build on that. Mm. Build on that that that, that goal that has been disallowed. That is serves as a warning sign to the Koreans that hey, mm. this is something that Singapore can do. Mm. And as underdogs, if you, and because we are not as good technically, we are not as good organized mm -mm. as a, in, in terms of organization, we need to work on the set pieces because set pieces will be the chance mm -mm. for us to counter yep. you know, or get something out of the game. Yeah, but he didn't do that. Yeah. In, and instead of, you know, bringing in an extra striker, mm -mm. he actually brought off our striker yeah. and brought on a midfielder. Yeah, okay. Shortly after the goal was disallowed. So, that, to me, was shocking. So again, to you, I think replicating what happened during, uh, well, Thailand was after, but still like just like Thailand. In the South Korean game, tactically, uh, Nishigaya got it wrong again. Well, I, I think that's his name. The, if, I would, coach, if, I would, if I were to describe him as a coach, I would okay. say he's tactically inept. Ooh. Seriously. Ooh. That, that is my description for Nishigaya. Okay. And it is time to go. Time to, okay, so, 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 so now that we're saying it's time to go, let's throw you this, this question. Okay, let's throw you this question. Who do you think then should take over as the coach? I have no idea. But, you know, just a few days after, this is a few days after the game. Yeah, yeah, it is a few the, days after. The, the, Are you the, thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. Mr. The, Thai guy, coach guy. The coach of the Thai national team actually yeah. left his job. Yeah, he did. So now he's a free agent. Uh, why not just get him along? Get him on board. I mean, he did get Thailand to some decent... Exactly. You know? And Thailand played beautiful football. They lost narrowly to China, 2-1. Mm. In fact, Thai, the, the Thais actually performed quite well against the Europeans. Mm. I'm, they lost final to Georgia, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. But I, I thought they played decent football against Georgia. I was, I was watching the some of the highlights yeah. of the game as well. So I, I think, why not just get him along? Because, hey, yeah. you can't get any worse than Nishigaya. Okay. So for all of those of you watching, now uh, John is saying that uh, po poking guy, I believe that's his name. I poking, so, yes. I, I think somewhere there. Mm. The poking guy, the the former now, now former uh, coach of the Thai national football team who has left, should come and take over Singapore. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, probably. So if you agree, let us know. Or if you have a name in mind, well, do share with us. It could be Jose Mourinho. Anyway, <laughs> it's a dream. Huh? Or Gary Neville. Anyway. <laughs> In any case, let us know who you think and we'll see you for our next segment because it's called What's Hot?
with Uso. We'll see you. Maybe Kwan Hong. Welcome back to What's What with Who's Who. Now in this, we're going to travel all across the globe to bring you news. And so what news are we going to bring them today, John? The big news oh that's dear. happening in the English Premier oh League. No. Are, I think I think this is this is this news is very shocking. Okay. Um and the news is that Everton yep. has just been handed a 10-point deduction Mm-mm. for the FFP violation. Mm-mm. So in case you know, don't know what FFP is, is the financial fair play, fair play. Of, um, ruling yep. where you know teams are not allowed to, to um, record a loss of more than 105 million over a three-year period mm-hmm. and all. Uh, so Everton were handed 10 points mm-hmm. uh, deduction because uh, supposedly Mm-mm. they recorded more than 300 million in deficit over the three-year mm. um period Mm-mm. um what's very what to me i think this is this is ridiculous because mm. we all of us know i mean every football fan knows this if you do not know you're not a football fan all yeah. right the man city yep. were charged with 115 charges Mm-mm. of ffp violation Mm-mm-mm. but to date nothing. nothing has been done yeah chelsea by the way but you know we we had this little loophole so anyway Back to Man City, yeah, yeah. and and for mm. for all the talk about Everton, I think this this Everton you know scrutiny only took place this year mm-hmm. or late last year, and mm-hmm. within one, I think probably one year at most. Yeah, and suddenly they have a chance. And whoa, the, how did how how oh. how was it possible that mm-hmm. they came to a conclusion in, in just a just about less than a year? Mm-hmm. Where's and, the other? You know, and they are taking ages to to mm-hmm. settle the the issue mm-hmm. in Man City. Mm-hmm. What the is happening. Yeah. And I, I'm totally in, in agreement with Everton. Uh, by the way, I'm a Liverpool fan, but is, I, huh? I'm with Everton in, in, in this front. And Everton came out, you know, with a statement mm. uh, to, to, to say that they are, they are both shocked and disappointed by the ruling of the Premier League's commission. Mm. All right. Um, and they are rightly saying that it's disproportionate and the unjust sporting sanction. Because really, I think it is what it is. It is. Right? I think Everton maintains that they have been open and transparent and information is provided to the Premier League. Now, this sentence itself, I feel, will speak volumes mm. of how the the investigation needs to be done for mm. Man City. Because I think Man City has never been open Mm-mm. and obviously never been transparent Mm-mm. in the information that's been relayed to the Premier League. Mm-mm. So I really hope that the people or the panel or whoever Mm-mm. is taking charge of the investigation. Yeah. Follow the same uh, set of protocols. Exactly. Okay. Really. Because I think it is absolutely ridiculous to punish Everton. Without punishing Man City at the same time. Correct. Okay. And but when that happens, when, when Man City eventually gets punished, please give all the teams that became mm. a run-ups place yeah. their respective medals. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm talking about Liverpool. I'm, okay. I'm talking about Manchester United. <laughs> okay. The Aguero moment. Yeah. The, uh, the, the iconic Aguero yeah. moment. Yeah. Needs to go. Okay. Because. Because of this. It is what it is. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. So give Ferguson his last, you know, deserving medal where he, that was robbed of him by all this. Little things going <sighs> on. Okay. So, you know, I mean, again, you know, I think from, from my take is that, uh, yeah, I think if you apply this set of strict FFP protocols to mm-hmm. Everton, uh, then the same set of strict protocols should be applied to any other club. Not just Man City. could be even Chelsea, in fact. Uh, I'm just going to be neutral here. It could be f- applied to any club. So uh, I, I, I do agree. I think there must be some form of uh, actual set of protocols, not just, mm-hmm. oh, uh, uh, Everton gets one set, Man City gets one set, Chelsea gets one set, a- and whatnot. So because of that, you know, um, Everton's going to get a lot of um, mm-hmm. problem. Uh. Yeah, but you're right. So if you look at the screen now, I think, yeah. I think it's been reported that the same panel that docked Everton's points mm-hmm. will be judging the compensation claims, claims from the rivals. I think it's not just the compensation claims, but also uh, all the other investigations. Yeah. So I really hope that they will be transparent. Mm. I hope so too. That they will be consistent. I think this mm. word consistent, it's, it's yeah. almost, it's like it's, it's almost like, you know, a punctuation yeah. uh, for the English Premier League. It's, it's missing uh, all the time. Huh? Whether it's VAR, now this uh, FFP. So you see, never abbreviate your things. It gets so confusing. VAR gets abbreviated, don't know what's going on. Now you got this FFP, don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? One sounds like vagina, the other sounds like fapping. You know, it just don't make sense at all. So, you know, I mean, just just let us know what's going on because the, the fans, you know, even I myself, even I could be a Chelsea supporter, which I am. Uh, 
if we with the club has done something wrong, then punish them lah. I mean, it's not like I'm not gonna watch them when they get demoted. I'm gonna follow them. So you know, just saying, I'm a true blue Chelsea fan. So if you're a true blue Man City fan, then if they ever you know get no, so so do you agree that Chelsea yeah. should be well, they should be scrutinized to the same set. But whether or not we did any wrong, I don't know lah. But we should be scrutinized to the same set of uh, protocols. Because according to them, the loophole is there because we stretched the whole contract thing, therefore we are out, right? But again- Yeah, but that was only because we- yeah. That's what we mentioned about Todd. Yeah, we did, we did. Right? But yeah. during Roman's time, yeah, we yeah, didn't during, do that. Well, and the, the, the scrutiny with the yeah. financial fair play or what for Chelsea happened mm-hmm. during Roman's time. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was during Roman's so- Right. You know. so, so it's not really so much yeah, yeah, Todd, Todd is just- Todd's, Todd's a businessman. He, he, so. He's a businessman. He's, a business he, man. Exactly. And he's American, so- <laughs> And for but but city on yeah the uh, uh, city on the other hand yeah that, a lot of a, money yeah uh. that's a different story altogether yeah so in any so, case you know that, yeah. that's our take and uh, FFP hopefully the same set of rules don't just apply um to to just you know Everton that way should be applied to the clubs all across the board and if you're a Toffees fan as well and you're very unhappy about this you're unhinged by everything let us know lah yeah that's right. Yeah, that's all right. The guys, that concludes the uh, the well, this episode of the 442 Dudes. Once again, we are from Tampines and if you are craving, if you're Singaporean and you're craving some, for some very nice mirabus, we want to recommend you oh, to, to come over Dapo here. Hassan. Yeah, it's the support of our best player over the last Best goalie. Games. Yes. Block one, one, uh, one four, what? Seven. I think it's I one. I think one, one four, seven. One four, four. One four, four. One four, four. Go to block one, four, four, Dapo Hassan. There you go. Okay, just quote Chris Hansen. Friend of Chris Hansen. Okay, then uh, maybe we have one free <laughs> hot boil egg. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, we'll see you anyway. Okay. We're the 442 dudes. And we'll see you. Don't forget to subscribe, follow. And this is brought to you by CCB TV. I prefer Bagadu. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Okay, Bagadu is again. <laughs>